name is Joe Eddings, and I would like to take this moment to welcome you all to the premiere of Venus Flint and Angel Goes to War. Now, before we get started, I really want to take a moment <clears throat> just to thank my cast and crew profusely for your help on this project. You guys have been nothing but amazing. I could not ask any more of you. You guys have really taken this series and made it something more than just a little audio series. Um, Abby, Lauren, Matt, Jack, <laughs> everyone that's involved, especially Luke, um, you guys have really just made it come to life, and I can never thank you enough for that. I'm getting a little choked up here because it's, like, I can't even describe this feeling that I'm feeling right now, that this is actually happening, that I'm sitting here with you all, on a Zoom call, waiting for this thing to be over so we can watch it, or listen to it, whatever you want to call it. I just, I'm so appreciative of you, and I am so happy that you are involved, more than you'll ever know. I don't know how this series could have been any better, or it had a better start. And that's thanks to you. All of you. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Now on to the fans. Venus Flint has gained some traction. Just from the Instagram and TikTok and everything. Thank you all so much for expressing interest in our little audio series. You know, Venus Flint was just a little character we were toying around with, and one day I just up and decided to make her a series. So without people like you guys, without people taking interest in it, I would not see a point. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you from every one of us. Now, without further ado, I give you Venus Flint, an angel goes to war. I've always had problems fitting in. Never really been able to make friends. Everyone always found me a bit weird, to say the least. I was a girl that talked to animals, climbed trees, and defied all authority figures. I wasn't one to march with the crowd. More said scared people. Mother said people shun what they don't understand. I was content with the little life I'd made for myself. When I was 15, I was given the title of most beautiful girl in London. I was a renowned dancer and trained to one day work with my parents. Then I met him. A funny little man in a bow toy. I didn't know it yet, but this man would whisk me away from my cozy life and give me the world. And it all started with an arrow, a wedding, and a war. war, war. Are you right? I fell. 
Did you break anything? Bones or furniture? Either. No, it's okay. Then why did you ask? Because I wanted to see your reaction. Well, start cleaning up. Pass your bedtime. Well, I've, I've got a show coming up. I've got to practice. It'll still be here in the morning. Now up to bed. Oh. Sent a telegram to Inspector Abilene of the Yard. The Night Stalker has claimed his last victim. Dropping in on you unexpectedly. You have nothing to apologise for, my old friend. Can I get you any tea? No, thank you, Jenny. I'm rather in a hurry. Of course. Pack the cases, Jenny. We're going to need the swords. Of course, Mum. And try not to wake Venus. Oh, yes, Venus. How is she doing? Why don't you ask for yourself? Venus! What are you doing awake? It's nearly two in the morning. You lot are up. Hello. Well, hello. I don't believe we've met. Venus Glyph, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. Hello. Uh, y yes, sorry, hello. Uh, I'm the Doctor. I'm an old friend of your parents. The Doctor is actually the one who introduced me to your ma. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Doctor. Oh, just the Doctor. That's what people call me. Well, either that or get off my planet, you... <clears throat> well, more to the point. <laughs> I take it a lot of people don't like you. Venus! You must forgive her. She's very blunt. No, she's right. Smart girl. Where are you going? Nowhere, darling. We aren't going anywhere. Then why are you dressed? Well... Why is he here? Well... And why is Maud going to get the salt? Well, Venus... Ah! Uh -uh. Before you continue, you must know I've got a built-in lie detector. So it'd be pointless to lie to me. <laughs> now then, where did you say we were going? You are staying here. We are simply going to assist the doctor with a small problem. Small problem? Shh. She'll want to come. I'll get out, Toe. No. Let me handle this. Look, Venus, I really do appreciate that you want to help me and my friends. However, we are about to face off against an entire military armada. All the more reason for me to come. Need all the help you can get. <laughs> yes, but I don't need any unnecessary deaths on our side. Well, you've never seen me with my bow. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Mother! I'm sorry, Venus, but I cannot allow you to come with us. All packed. Venus? Venus, darling, what on earth are you doing away? She's trying to come with us and the Doctor. Oh, absolutely not. Where we're going is no place for you, dear. And it is for you. It is, in fact. Whilst your archery skills are near immaculate, you still haven't completely mastered it, Venus. We don't want you to put you in the situation where your back's up against the wall and you're all alone. Oh, I've told you, Master Archery. Just because I'm a centimetre off the inside doesn't mean anything. It's still a kill shot. Venus Flint, I will not have any more of this nonsense. You are not coming with us, and that is my final say. Upstairs, now! But Go! And not another word of it. Ow. Oh. Now then, I do apologise for that, Doctor. Well, that was a bit harsh. She can be rather stubborn at times. I usually have to discipline her with a firm grip. Sometimes I think she's too hard on the girl. And I think you're too kind at times, Jenny. Yes, yes, I'm sorry to cut this minor marital dispute short, but we are in a bit of a time schedule. I didn't think time travel had to follow a time schedule. We don't, but I want to leave right now. I really do think we should get going. 
we could either stand around here all day bickering about Venus, or we get this over with. We can deal with her when we get home. You were going to let me handle it this time. You never accomplish anything with her. Sometimes you have to be the bad guy. Yes, yes, Venus is a chore. Can we go now? Right. Shall we then? Goodness, it's boiling in here. It is rather warm. Oh, do you think Venus is warm enough? You know she's always cold. If you are so concerned with Venus, you can stay behind. She is fine. <sighs> Bad feeling about this, Mum. Well, put it out of your mind, Flint. We have a war to fight. My oh, goodness, Doctor! Can't you fly her more Now, the old girl just tends to be a bit overdramatic from time to time. Jenny. Sorry. I thought I heard... Dear? Probably nothing. So, where are we, Doctor? The Battle of Zarustra. 4037. Zarustra? 4037? Yes, and yes. I've got a mate out there who's serving a sort of penance. Sir? Strax, my potatoey friend! How goes the battle? Gloriously, though you have greatly inconvenienced me by not allowing me to beautifully remove the enemy's spinal cords or crush their pathetic skulls. Some Tarans, a clone soldier race. Who are these two boys? Boys. Incredibly thick clone soldiers. This is obvious. Hello there, stinking primitives. I am Commander Strax of the Santaran Empire. I look forward to our temporary alliance and our foreseeable meeting on the field of battle where they will crush your brains and destroy you for the glory of the Santaran Empire. Hello. A pleasure. Oh, sorry, got to take this. One moment, Rory. Let me put you on speaker. Give me the good news, Rory. I'm sorry, Doctor. Sorry? She says she can't be with you till the very end. Oh, I swear, that bloody woman. She is going to be the death of me. Doctor, there was something else. Oh, that's good. She said that... Very this good. Is Amazing, when you find actually. Out. Sorry, Mr. Pond, gotta go. Something's come up. Bye! Doctor, wait! Doctor, I think that gentleman on the phone had something important to tell you. Really? Oh, well, he's gone now, isn't he? He'll just have to tell me when I see him. Right! We have one more stop before we reach Demon's Run. Oh, Fastra, do you think it's possible for you to get in contact with some more Silurians? Bold of you to assume I am still in good contact with my brothers and sisters. We need numbers. I just got confirmation that the Jadoon will aid us, but the Silurians have strategic tactics. I would call the Sontarans, but... I don't need any more of Humpty Dumpty over there. Would you stop smelling me? The material of your helmet has such a sweet scent. One that I have never smelled before. It's hair. <laughs> Jenny, what is it? I just know I heard something. Oh, it's nothing, Jenny. She's an old ship. I don't know if you creaks here and there. But she always pulls through in the end, don't you, old girl? Yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Uh, right, moving on. Is there anyone else we need to pick up? Yes, an old friend of mine. He's got a few connections to the other side, so maybe, maybe he'll have some insight on what they plan to do with Amy. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Try not to stare. I'm fat. I'm blue. You can't need me. Oh, quit your whining. Consider this repaying the debt you owe me. Then you can go back to your little shop and retire peacefully. Just like you always said. I am retired, Doctor. I've just closed up. Oh. Right. Now I know what you're up to. And quite frankly, I would prefer it if I was observing it from afar. Sorry. No can do, Dorian. You've got info on the headless monks. They've allied with them. And we need everything we can to go up against them. 
very well. Um, now, Jenny. But he's blue. And I'm green. What makes that such an issue? Hmm? Nothing, Mum. Dora Moldova, reluctantly at your service. Oh, and you are gorgeous. Thank you, Mr. Maldivar. This is my wife, Jenny Flint. Hello. Oh, aren't you a treat? <laughs> <coughs> you should meet our daughter, Venus. Oh, you'd love her. Right, sorry to cut the introduction short, but we're here. Battle stations, everyone. Geronimo. Maybe they were right. This is war. This this is dangerous. I shouldn't be here. I have no business. But I've come this far. There's no going back now. Venus Flint is no coward. mainframe herself on this one and only occasion I can show you the truth because these guys never can be persuaded they can never be afraid and they can never ever be surprised <laughs> hello everyone guess who please point your guns at me if it helps you relax you're only human. He's crazy. He's absolutely bloody. <gasps> what am I doing? I can't call attention to myself. Ah, stop, boy. For the glory of the Santaran Empire, you will surrender your weapons and your pathetic life. <laughs> Strax, what have you got for me? Who's this? I found this boy lurking in the halls as you were making your stripe on the communications array. Right, good work, Strax. I'm going to need a full perimeter check. Make sure this one doesn't have any others with them. Sir. Now then, just who are you? And where exactly did you come from? I know I didn't pick you up, so you must have already been here. I see. You're not getting anywhere by being silent, so you might as well start talking. Mom, doesn't that cloak look familiar to you? Jenny, let the doctor handle it. Did Colonel Runaway send you? That's it, isn't it? Well, you tell whoever sent you that I will not be beaten so easily. plan on giving you the satisfaction of showing you just how furious I am. You've kidnapped my best friend. You've taken her baby. All just... All just to get to me. And you can't even look me in the face. A coward's tactic. So I'll ask you again. Who are you? 
Answer me! No. No, 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 not, not you. Why are you here? Hey. Everyone, I'd like you to meet Venus Flint. Venus Adelaide Flint? What on earth are you doing here? I'm here to help. You're clearly outnumbered. I told you that you were not coming with us. And I told you you needed all the help you could get. Do you know how dangerous it is when people don't listen to me? Look out there, look! This is what happens when people don't listen to me. What? The innocent get hurt. You get back in that TARDIS and you wait there, young lady. No! I'm here to help. I'm not a child or mother. Stop treating me like a child. Young lady! Stop calling me that! Venus Flint! You will march yourself back to that TARDIS and you will stay there until we return. You have crossed a line this time and I am astounded you would disobey us after we clearly explained that this was dangerous. Aww. No, you are not getting me on your side for this. I'm beyond furious with you, now go. You lot would have had no idea I was here if I had been caught. No one saw me get on, no one saw me leave. I could have easily taken a few people out and scurried back to my hiding spot. I knew I heard something. Hold on a moment, dear. You were in the TARDIS? Yeah, what of it? I wouldn't challenge her if I were you. Sensitive, are we? Not sensitive, just stubborn. I'm not stubborn! Oh, that's a lie, and you know it. Shh! Now then, we can have a moment of peace. Venus, while your attempt to help us is appreciated, you're not going to stay here. I can't afford the risk of losing someone who shouldn't even be involved to begin with. None of us should be involved. This is your fight that you begged us to be a part of. No one should be here but you. And you know what I think? I think you're just scared of... <laughs> terribly rude of you. I know you're under a lot of pressure and stress, but you will not ever shush me like that. Do you understand me? I'm a lady and you will treat me as such. Uh, I really thought that would work. Well, it didn't, and you right piss me off now. Okay, okay, I see that. Just... Ugh. Just what? Can I cut your tongue? All right, listen here. So this is Miss Venus. She isn't normally like this. Well, she's definitely an interesting character. We like to think so. Venus Flint! Okay. Jenny Vastra, I'll escort her back to the TARDIS, just to make sure she doesn't sneak out on us. I want that Santaran fellow guarding the door. Well, wherever we go, I need to find my bow. Dropped it when I was captured. So you're completely defenceless? Well, you forget, Jenny. We have my cleverness on our side. That's debatable. Oh, I like her. Venus, it, you're not helping. I'm not trying to anymore. Now, we go on or not? Yes, 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 all right, fine. Jenny Vastra, hold the phone. That was a marital dispute if I ever saw one. Don't jinx it, love. So are you going to let me go or do I need to actually break your arm? You know, I have just about had it. I will not stand here and be berated by a, a child. If you call me that one more time, you and I are going to have a problem. I can walk by myself. There it is. Thank God. Not scratch on her. Look, I can't stand us just walking in silence. So you might as well tell me. Tell you what? How the hell did you get here? I snuck on board while you were distracted. So, you stowed away. Precisely. Now is that all? Because quite frankly, if you keep standing around here asking me stupid questions like that, we're gonna be found out. Asking you how you got here isn't a stupid question. It doesn't matter how I go here. It matters that I'm here. Matters to me. And why is that? You snuck aboard my ship without my permission. You could have gotten hurt. Hell, you could have been killed. You're lucky it was Strax that found you, Venus. 
Moore is no place for a child. I am not a child. I am nearly 19. I'm old enough to have children my own where I come from. Be that as it may, I will not be responsible for your death. I, I can't add that to my already heavy conscience. Then wash your hands of me. You can let me go now. No, Venus, you're not listening to me. If something happened to you, I could never face your parents with that. I could never face myself with that, that you died under my watch. After everything I've done to- What have you done? I don't even know you. Nothing. Come on, let's keep moving. Come on, Venus. Now you've done it, Venus. I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so upset. I'm not usually like this. I understand you want to help. This is way over your head. I should have checked for you. This isn't all on you. Everyone treats me as if I'm fragile. As if I break at the slightest glance. My parents have always been so overprotective. As they should be. Why do you say that? Well, if my daughter had the status you had, I'd be a bit overbearing too. Well, here we are. Stay inside, stay hidden. Don't open that door for anyone who's not us. All right. We'll do. Look, I am sorry. I know you want to help us, but Venus... Uh, Venus, are you listening? Shh. Do you hear that? No. Venus, where are you going? Don't you hear that? That, that noise? What noise? Venus, listen to me. I need you to get back. Stay behind me. You don't know what you're dealing with. Stay behind me. Let me handle this. What are they, Doctor? Headless monks. Very dangerous. And they don't like me. Is there anyone that doors like you? Not now, Venus. Just hold tight. Leave the talking to me. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, hello, Mr. Monk, uh, sir. Now, before we start swinging our swords and actually hurt someone, why don't we just talk this through? I don't think they're in the mood to talk. You know, Venus, I think you might be right. <laughs> nope. Okay, Venus, I think we should... Get down. What? Ah! Venus, you shot me! We can talk about it later, now move! <laughs> Venus! Venus, slow down! No, you keep up! You shot me! I, I, I can't believe you shot me! You wouldn't get out of the way! Besides, you're fine. I just grazed you. I'm bleeding! Oh, God, it won't stop! Oh, come here, you big baby. Oi, oh, don't call me... Ugh. See? You're just fine. Hmm? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, yes. Are you okay? You, you, you've gone quiet. Y yes, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. What about you? Are you hurt? Not at all. <laughs> See? Bleeding's already stopped. Right. Um. Yes? We, we should keep moving. Where to? Control room or back to the TARDIS? Control room. We need to get you back to your parents. Agreed. I've got a question. Yeah? Back at the TARDIS, you said you heard something. Uh, the, the chant. Yes. I didn't hear anything until they arrived. You didn't? No, I didn't. Now my question to you is... How? How what? How did you hear them before I did? I, I have very acute hearing. <laughs> That's actually how I heard you in the sitting room. I once got lost in the shops because I wandered off. I heard a music box playing in the shops about two streets away. You wandered away from your parents? Well, my ma, mother wasn't there that day. I'm sure she was furious. More scared than anything, but yeah, she was rather angry. And how old were you? Oh, I was ten 
or so. And it's been a while. You hold my hand rather tight. <laughs> well, I don't want you to run off on me. This is a dangerous place, after all. Are you sure you don't just want to hold my hand? No, no. This is... This is purely for your safety. For your safety. You're blushing. No, no, I, no I am not. Yes, you are. You're about as red as your tie. Oh, d- d- shut up. Don't worry. I think it's cute. Well, that's a first. What? No one's ever referred to me as cute before. Well, they should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Venus, in here. Help me with the door. What do you want me to do? Uh, if I, just hold it shut for me. If I can just reach my sonic. Right. Just hold that door shut like that. Uh, turn it off! Turn it off! What? What? That hurt! It did. Oh. Doctor? Doctor, can you hear me? It's me, Venus! Venus? No! No, 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 leave me Something's got out of its cage. Well, whatever it is, I hope it stays far away from the doctor. Agreed. Let's just pray whatever it is, is on our side. Ah! Venus? Venus! Venus, it's me. The doctor. You know, Mr. Cute. <laughs> Venus. Venus, don't do this. You don't have to do this. I'm on your side. Venus. Venus, no! Venus, it's all right. It's okay. Just take my hand. What did I do? What happened? You saved our lives. That's what you did. Come on. Come on, Venus. Shh, shh, shh. Dear God. Doctor, who's that? It's okay, Amy. She's on our side. Despite how she looks. I can guarantee you she's with us. Hi. I'm Venus. Darling, what the hell happened? I, I, I don't know. Doctor, is that blood? Yes, Amy, yes. Rory, take care of Amy, please, and I'll be with you in a moment. I'll be right back. Are you going to be okay? Okay. Why didn't you go to the TARDIS like we asked you to? What the hell is all that blood doing on you? Were you just not is stinking or do you seriously Someone not care about your safety? We tried! We tried! I, I don't know what happened! We, we were ambushed by the, 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 those the things! <laughs> Darling, come here. to jump on you so hard. <laughs> I suppose the thing to focus is that you're safe. No, 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 not again. I can't do that. Venus! <laughs> Venus! <laughs> you're okay, love. You're okay. You're safe. Please, God, not again. Doctor, what is going on? She's scaring Melody. You two go wait in the TARDIS. I'll go check on Venus. I'm coming with you. You don't want to stay with Amy and the baby? That girl, Venus, might need medical help. I can be of service. No, I really don't think that's necessary. Oh, somebody, please shut her up. The poor girl has gone crazy. Mr. Maldover, please. She's having a breakdown. No, 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 no,
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, not again. I can't say that again. Is that the monks? Please, God, not again. Oh, dear God, that's the attack prayer. This is where we'll make our stand. Clear lines of sight on all approaches. Commander Strax! I'm trying to seal off this area of the lighting grid. Jenny, keep Venus close. We can't have her running off in this state. Yes. We don't have to fight them. I'm friends to the monks. They know me. You understand, don't you? Mr. Maldivar, get back here! Arm yourself, fool! Get the hell away from me! <laughs> Doria? The child! Protect the child at all costs! Back, get back, get away from her! Venus, it's okay! It... What's going on? Keep your head down. Everybody stay out of the line of sight. What's happening to my child? The same thing that happened earlier. And I missed most of it, but she ripped them apart. And she almost did the same to me. Sweet little girl. My little Venus. <laughs> Everyone stay down. Don't move. Do not let her see you. No! Oh, Venus, no! Jenny, Jenny, <laughs> let me take a look at her. I'm going to go check on Amy. Of course. So little. How can such a small girl do so much damage? She's alive. Just in a comatose state. Whatever just happened to her used up more energy and muscle power than her body is built for. How is that possible? I... Um, I don't know. I'm... I'm... Ma? Ma? Venus! You're up. Well, well, yeah, I... Oh. oh, my goodness, I was worried sick. Let me fix you something to eat. You must be starving. Well, actually, now that you mention it... Wait, how long was I out? Been five days, dear. Five days? The doctor said it would take time for you to recover. Speaking of, how are you feeling? I can barely move from so bloody sore. Yeah. The doctor said you would have some muscle soreness. Here. He left this to help with the pain. Thank you. So, what exactly, what, what exactly happened? What do you remember last? I remember... I, I remember carrying on the floor and you that god-awful chant. And, and I remember the doctor yelling at everyone and I don't know what he was saying, but... But I remember him saying something, and then I blacked out. Venus, dear. After you blacked out, you went, well, the only way I could describe it is you went savage. You started tearing monks limb from limb. You were growling, screaming. Animalistic. After you finished, when there was no one left to fight, you tried to walk, but you collapsed. You weren't moving. You were hardly breathing. I thought, I thought I lost you. No. We took you home. Cleared you up, made sure you were comfortable. 
we didn't know if you were going to wake up or not, but the doctor assured us you would. But you just needed time. But Ma, I, I'm no kid. I, I didn't mean to. Save our lives, that little piece. You single-handedly ended the fight. We had no business being there. You were right. And if you hadn't been there, My, my, my bow! I, I, I left it. Did, did you come back and get it? I meant to grab it, but... Ma, oh, tell me you grabbed it. We did go back and fetch your bow. However... What? What happened? It was shattered when we found it. We took it to all the shops, but... It's all right. It's it's just a bow. <laughs> but it's your bow. I'm so sorry we can't get it fixed. Maybe we can find you a new one. We can go out looking later in the week if you feel better. Good morning. Would you care for some tea? Strax. Oh, potato man! I, I was hoping I'd meet you. <laughs> what is this? Potato that so many refer to me. Strax, go back down to the kitchen. We won't be needing you at present. Yeah, of course. May I take your coat, ma'am? Strax, for the last time. You say that when the guest is walking into the house. Not when we all leave it. But why? Thank you, Strax. Oh, very well. Ma'am. I swear he's such an handful. More than me? No. There is no one who's more than an handful than you. I'll let you rest, love. All right, Ma. If you need anything, just shout. Wait, Ma. Yeah? Can you bring me my journal? Of course. Thank you.